Good day our brothers and sisters, may this blessing find you counting your blessings rather than your troubles. Start the day on a positive note, count your blessings this morning. The devastating Hawaiian wildfires represent a profound human tragedy, sparking a pressing inquiry into their fundamental origins and contributing factors. It is imperative that we delve deeper into the underlying causes that have led to the outbreak of these destructive blazes in the lush landscapes of Hawaii. Our Lady has just appeared in Garabandal and gave us one of the underlying reasons for this horrifying event. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversation of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. Today, we come together to invite you to join us in a moment of collective prayer. Let us offer our thoughts, intentions, and hopes to the heavens for the well-being of our world, our communities, and our loved ones, Heavenly Father, we come before you with humble hearts and grateful spirits, recognizing your infinite love and boundless grace. You are the Creator of all things, the Alpha, and the Omega, the beginning, and the end. We acknowledge your sovereignty and your majesty, for you are the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. We thank you for the gift of life and for the countless blessings you have bestowed upon us. In moments of joy and in times of sorrow, we know that you are with us, guiding us with your wisdom and comforting us with your presence. Today, we lift our voices in prayer, seeking your divine guidance and strength. We ask for your wisdom to navigate the complexities of life, to make choices that honor you, and to live in accordance with your will. Lord, grant us the courage to face our challenges, knowing that with you by our side, we can overcome any obstacle. Fill us with your peace that surpasses all understanding, and help us to cast our anxieties upon you, knowing that you care for us. We pray for the world in which we live, a world filled with both beauty and brokenness. The Hawaiian wildfires are a terrible human event. But the question here is the underlying cause of it. Now, the message will be shared with all of you, beloved children, I bless you as Queen and Mother of the End Times. My heart has been filled with joy at the response of my children as the novena you devoted to me comes to a close because I know for a fact that anything they bring me is brought before the Divine Will. I have witnessed beings that have undergone conversions and have resolved to see my son once more. Beloved children of my heart, I know that the Hawaii wildfire left you with so much pain and sadness. I know what you have to suffer and now, I want to let you know what is the core reason for this natural event. Wildfires in Hawaii are a natural disaster, however, there is an underground force behind this catastrophic disaster. While the wildfires ravaging Hawaii are undeniably a manifestation of natural disaster, it is essential to recognize that beneath the surface of this catastrophic event lies an intricate interplay of underlying forces, both environmental and human-induced, that have contributed to the extent and severity of this crisis. Understanding these multifaceted factors is crucial not only for addressing the immediate impacts of wildfires but also for formulating long-term strategies to mitigate and prevent such devastating events in the future. Beloved children of my heart, Due to the human greed and the destruction of forests as well as people are gradually moving away from God, so Satan took this opportunity to take over the earth. The fire from hell has reached out to the world and swept many nations. Now, it's spreading into Canada and some countries in the Middle East areas. It's about to come to Europe and spread into Asia a few months later. Humans must be careful and aware of what they do right now. On a day that the devil takes control of the earth, as the date draws near, 
whispers of impending doom will spread like wildfire across the globe. People from all walks of life, regardless of their beliefs, will feel an inexplicable unease in the pit of their stomachs. Some will dismiss it as mere superstition, while others will prepare for the worst. On the eve of the dreaded day, the world will be in turmoil. Governments will issue warnings, and people will barricade themselves in their homes, hoping to ride out whatever calamity is to come. Religious leaders will convene in prayer, beseeching their deities for protection. As dawn breaks on an ominous day, an eerie silence will envelop the earth. The sky, typically painted with hues of orange and pink, will remain a dull, foreboding gray. Animals will seem to sense the impending danger and will seek shelter in their burrows and nests. Beloved children of my heart, as mother, I encourage everyone to remain where they already reside, only those who live close to the coasts should leave them. The oceans penetrate the depths of the earth, and some of them maintain undersea mountains within them that will eventually rise to the surface. Then, as the clock strikes noon, chilling darkness will begin to spread across the planet. It will be as if a colossal shadow has been cast over the entire earth. Panic will grip the hearts of those who watch in horror as daylight turns to dusk. Prepare the consecrations for the month of September, before the month dedicated to the Holy Rosary, it is necessary for the good of your souls. Pay attention, you are losing the faith and this leads you to fall prey to the devil. Be simple and humble of heart so that I can help you. I love you, I bless you and protect you. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 13 Their work will be shown for what it is, because the day will bring it to light. It will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test the quality of each person's work. This verse serves as a reminder of the accountability that individuals have for their actions and choices. Fill us with your peace that surpasses all understanding, and help us to cast our anxieties upon you, knowing that you care for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, Without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us His graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.